Uh, Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly here. This is an A&M Noahide sermon on civic law. Civic law. Now, society generally recognizes the concept of separation of church and state, as they call it. And in Noahide terminology, in A&M Noahide terminology, we generally recognize the concept of separation of religion and state. So I don't think the two mix terribly well. And for political reasons, we have um, the uh, Advancing Prosperity Party, which is sort of like a political platform for the ANN. So we do represent politically as well. But generally we believe in separation of religion and state. Now, Religious law, or religious tradition, is taught in uh, technically private establishments, private organizations in, in Australia, churches and synagogues and mosques and so forth, and temples and so forth. So that's sort of where the kingdom of God has its authority, in my way of thinking. You do it in private organizations where the pastor or the rabbi or the priest or whatever, what have you, teaches the congregation the general way of things according to the religion and uh, they congregate at the assembly hall and they learn the rules of the religion and they do their private studies on the bibles and so forth and that's how it functions they fellowship there and they know the flock each other some are more regular than others and um, that's how the sort of spiritual law is taught and manifests in society on earth now civic law I teach that for Noahides, we generally should be observing civic law and obeying civic law. Um, if there is something that your conscience has a, a deep issue on, that you can't agree with on the civic law in Noahidism, yeah, it's okay to disregard it somewhat. You'll have to face whatever consequences come. That's just the reality of life. But if there's something in civic law which you just can't abide with, then yes, disregard it to whatever degree you're, you're comfortable with disregarding it and you can you can disregard it however you can. But having said that, generally civic law is to, we're to be mindful of civic law and get along with civic law of society. Personally, I think in somewhere like Australia and the US, civic law is a good idea and it's good to, to pursue that as an occupation life. And uh, as general work, it's the kind of thing as no hides or lawful sort of people, it's the kind of natural occupation which we're involved with as no hides. Being a lawyer or a magistrate or a judge or some so, sort of other related legal industry uh, professional is generally a good occupation for a no hide as far as I'm concerned. Civic law is not necessarily perfect, but um, it does the job well enough. So. No hides should be generally responsive to civic law and abiding by its general principles and in political structures which they're part of, it's okay to have an influence and a joining with the civic law making of society to be part of parliaments and congresses and things and to also have your say as well. A&M, as I said, we generally teach separation of religion and, and state and in our political platform, we wouldn't try to bring too, ma too many religious morals to our political platform, but there is obviously a sense of morality which is sort of more acceptable in a civic sense, which we would try and bring. But having said that, generally civic law is to be observed and uh, obeyed in, as A&M Noahides, and uh, that's the recommendation. We're mindful of civic law. So this is an A&M No Height Sermon on Civic Law.